Hello traders, welcome to our today's video. In this video, we are going to be talking about a simple trading strategy usually occurring in the London and sometimes in the US session, basically looking for M's and W's. So before we talk about anything of this strategy, I just want to highlight something. A lot of traders are actually failing to make consistent profits because they are looking for something that can win 100%. Real trading or professional trading actually doesn't look at anything of that sort. It usually dwells on the winners that it gets. If we get a winner, let that winner have an impact on our accounts. A lot of professional traders do not even surpass 50% accuracy, but they make sure that when they are right, that trade will flow up to the full maximum reward uh, level. For instance, you can have 10 trades that you've been taking. And of those 10 trades, you are going to win only three or four. And that means six of them are going to be losers. When you lose, you are going to lose one unit. And when you are winning, you are going to win two units. If you win two units, it means four multiplied by two, that would be eight, and six multiplied by one unit, that would be uh, six. So six minus uh, eight minus six, your profit will be two. So the distribution of the losses are unknown. You can have lose, 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 then a winning streak. Or you may have lose, lose, win, lose, lose, win. Or you may have lo uh, a winning streak first and losers uh, last. We do not know how the, the those are going to be distributed. All right, to cut uh, all those stories, uh, this is just to cultivate your mental uh, trading mindset. Uh, our today's strategy basically looks to trading away from peaks. How do we see peaks? Peaks are either uh, seen by counting levels from the H1 time frame, but in this particular video, I'm going to simplify it how you are going to be seeing those peaks. So the first thing that you need to do is to go on the H4 time frame on any uh, any particular trading asset of your choice. In this case, I'm going to use US against oil to run away from pairs because some would say I only do uh, examples using pairs. So you can as well do it on uh, gold on uh, any indice of your choice. The first thing that you need to do is to install all these EMAs. In this particular case, I have the five exponential 13, 50, 200, and 800. And all these, I'm going to use them. So, we've said our strategy is going to be trading away from peaks. How do we look at peaks? I've said the first thing is to actually count levels on the H1 time frame. But in this particular case, we are going to use EMAs. So, peaks are basically points whereby we can see bounces of the price on EMAs. In this particular case, we have a 13 in red. Let me zoom in. We had a 13 in red and then the market came back to the 50 in blue, right? So those points of uh, price interaction with the, uh, the EMAs on the H4 time frame are valid peaks. So we had a peak here, then we had a 250 EMA cross here and we can see the market actually came back to, to this particular price point so these bounces are there to actually guide us uh, on the points that we call validated peaks so after getting these valid peaks we need to look at or to see a properly uh, a flu uh, Asian session range whereby we are looking to get an M or a W depending on the market context away from the validated peak. So what we mean is uh, like in this particular case, we can see uh, the market actually gave us this peak. We drew this uh, rectangle. We drew this rectangle on the H4 time frame. Then after that, we need to see that peak locking. That peak actually logged by a 50, 200 EMA cross on the M15 time frame. Then we can, we can see a properly uh, consolidated 
Asian session range. From there, we can see an M pattern that was issued. This M pattern will need us to confirm with the TDI like that. So why did I talk about uh, why did I talk about traders wanting something of 100 percent? It's because this particular strategy will not uh, give you that expectation. You are not going to get a 100% win rate. But what you are going to get is an edge that over a series of trades, you are definitely going to have winners. And those winners must be bigger than the losers, right? We are saying from this particular point going down, we can see another, another M pattern, first leg, second leg. It was clear, confirmed on the TDI like that. And then uh, we went to the downside. The next thing is to validate again these peaks, right? From there, we've said that the peaks are only validated using the H4 time frame. So we were seeing this particular flow, right? Another flow was here. Then next, we can see that the market actually went to the upside. We now had new peak formations, which are these ones. Sorry for the clutterness of the indicator that is actually uh, displaying the Asian session range uh, values and this one. So going on the M15 time frame to see how it actually went. Uh, this is how we can see it, right? This was a peak that we have actually uh, we have uh, uh, marked on the H4 time frame. It was starting at this particular point. We can see the market giving us uh, this was not confirmed on the tdi on the tdi we would want to see a rise of the relative strength index not dropping like this although it worked out we have to stick with our rules in this particular case it was a beautiful w pattern first leg second leg and it was confirmed on the tdi after after a peak formation law was issued in this case we had another peak formation law which we marked on the h4 time frame the next thing is now to wait and look for w patterns there was no w pattern there was no w pattern right and there was a w pattern first leg second leg which is confirmed on the tdi like that then another one we had a w pattern first leg right second leg confirmed on the tdi like that then another one we had uh, the first leg and then the second leg confirmed on the tdi like that and the market went our direction as we anticipated so basically that is what we will be doing to summarize everything that i've said you need to look for picks or validated picks on the h4 time frame as points where the market or price interacted with the emas it's, it might be the 50 it might be uh the 200 it might be the 800 on the h4 time frame mark those points and make them your bias detectors that is where you are going to be moving away from then the next thing is to see the asian session ranges and then to see the nameable w pattern first leg second leg and all those being confirmed on the tdi and then after that you can now uh, enter on the second leg probably on the uh, candlestick reversal pattern that will be issued on the second leg and you are done try to have a positive reward to risk ratio so that you can cover the losses that you have had uh, for someone who loses four trades right who actually need two trades to come back at break even so if you lose four you need to to come back at break even and if you lose four and win three you are in profit so basically that is how trading works do not be deceived no one no one under the sun will ever get you correct trades all the time on that note we come to the end of our today's video see you again